So, it's uh, almost winter. We had a little bit of white shit fall today and it felt like it was uh, winter, so that sucks. The fuck? So, the wife's been driving the Volvo for the last few months for the summer and this has kind of been sitting. So, the battery has been dying on it and then there's this dent that uh, I don't want to tell her about that I did, but I did find another fender because I got mad and whatever else. Don't worry about that. And uh, we have to do winter tires eventually swap them over um this is the all-wheel drive unit if you didn't know she got all kinds of kilometers on her and i've been keeping up with all the goodies over the years we've had this thing about seven years eight years this november and uh did a sweet little upgrade this is handy if you uh live in a colder climate you put in one of these uh tenders and then i did the <laughs> put it into there and then you get that, and then I do have a coolant heater. No, 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 that's the that's the V-dub, never mind. I have a, uh, what's the, oil pan heater <laughs> onto there. And then uh, obviously the block heater. So we got three good things going on. So if it's minus 40 and you're freezing your nads off and this thing's plugged in, it will start. I got the same thing on both my diesels, my shitty Volkswagens. Cause those are always a pain to start in the winter if you don't know already anyway okay I'm getting sidetracked here track sided we're gonna i do have a fender so i was thinking about me swapping out the fender uh, uh oh no and just want to check this turret over tires probably need some piss eye and then i do have winters like i might get i'm not probably not doing winters today because i usually uh gross i usually wait till the last moment because I got so many shit boxes, I got like four sets of tires to change over. And it's like, uh, you kind of got to do them slowly at a time. What am I going to do? I think I might change this fender. But to change this fender is kind of a pain in the dick. Because you got to pull the front... You got to pull... You got to pull the front bumper off. <sighs> when I pulled it off the, at the wrecker, I'll just go get it. <sighs> at least it's the same color. Anyways. So that's cool. It wasn't rusted that bad. Like, there's not... Oh, it's not that bad. Not terrible. The only, the only, there's the scratch here. But I mean, it's pretty much the same. Oh, eh, damn near. Damn near the same. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that. It won't take long. And it's supposed to be nice for the next few days. So she won't be driving this for a little while yet. But, oh, it gives the guy something to do. Anyway. Okay, so if you want to sit around here, <laughs> yeah, me, and uh, watch me fiddle my way through that, then uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all that's going on. Okay, so uh, I didn't want to change the fender; I decided not to. Or well, I will eventually, but got some more other things that need more attention. So uh, anyway, uh, you can see all this shit going on here. It's a little bit of a cluster beep, and. Uh, I got to change a CV shaft and uh, I don't really want to do it because the all-wheel drive it's got a bearing and it the CV shaft goes right through the transfer case and then it does a bunch of funky stuff and then there's a bearing in there and then the transmission fluid mixes with the gear oil in the transfer case but then I had a leak in my drain plug in the tranny uh, so I changed that so now we got that in there and I just drained it and I didn't have enough fluid so I made sure I kept the old fluid and this old fluid is actually okay well it's not great but it's better than no fluid so I'm gonna save on that see what I'm saying it's not that bad it's not that bad and I think there's a bottle of Lucas in here too to be honest so that's expensive those things are like 30 bucks can X stands prices which is a lot right that'd be what I don't know two bucks American so oh okay thing I didn't go in there so that's good we're gonna save on that and I did buy new, don't worry, I did put new stuff in. Because sometimes I'll just drain and fill every year. Uh, drain and fill your tranny every year. I mean, <clears throat> ah. Okay, I'll show you this little slit in here. Uh, I need a light. Thinking I might be able to get away. I don't know if you can see in there. But uh, there's the boots ripped right at the joint. So I'm thinking I'll put another clamp on behind that. Well, I'm going to fill it with grease first, obviously. You can see that a lot of grease has decided to leave, obviously, because of the hole. And then uh, what I'm going to do is do that for now, and then I'll just basically band-aid it, because I don't want to pull that out of there, because apparently it's a pain in the dick. So, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now. 
And then I was changing winter tires over at the same time. And then I was like, well, I should probably do this. So I still have to put winter tires back on, or well, on, because it was in here anyway. Why did I pull it in here anyway? First place. Oh, to change the fender. Right. But fender's not drivability problem. It just, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And this side looks okay. Uh, this boot over here probably needs to be changed. And I do have to do a rear, was a passenger side boot? So that's, that's that. So, I mean, what, what do you expect for a car with 240,000 miles? <clears throat> so anyway, and if you don't know, this is the wife's car. This is her winter beater, basically. All wheel drive, obviously, and some snow tires. And she does pretty good, and it just keeps running. I did have to change some stuff. I did, uh, the valve cover gasket was leaking a bit. I did change a plug at one, or, uh, one of them things, and, uh, in here was, uh, what did I do there? Oh, intake gasket. Because that leaks and gives you a P033. So if you got a P033 code on your Corolla or Vibe or Matrix, most likely it, it, it comes up as a lean. And what happens is the intake gasket gets brittle and hard. And then it sucks in air beyond that. And then you get a lean code. Uh, it's a common thing. Well, it's a wearable part, I guess you could say. So anyway, uh, so I'm just doing that right now. And then I'm gonna try and tidy up that, get that CV boot fixed or well, temporarily permanently fixed until it decides to quit again. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. And oh, the crush washer. So this was the old crush washer in there. And I did a drain and fill about two years ago, ish. And this is pretty clapped out. Like it's squished, but it was had a good drip. It had a good drip to notice it when it was sitting in here for like three days. So I was like, well, I should probably find a crush washer for that. And I did. So I put that in, but to change a crush washer, you gotta do the whole drain the plug, pull the plug, drain it. And I was thinking, well, maybe I'll do the shop track back, back, yeah, yeah. Shop back trick where you put the shop back on there and, uh, you, you, you suck it, but that's such a small tube. I don't know if that would work on the trans. I know I've seen guys do it on the, the Earl side of things, 710, but I don't know. So I just drained it and I thought, well, I'll put, a, I'll put some new fluid in and away we go, right? <clears throat> oh, so, oh, this is getting everywhere. Of course it is. So yeah, we got that dripping. So, oh, I did spray some of the degreaser under there just so I could kind of clean it a bit. Oh, there's my timer, perfect. So that timer was to clean the grease, degreaser off. Oh, Alexa, stop the timer. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, clean all that up, and then I'm gonna put a CV boot, or I'm gonna put a hose clamp on that CV boot while I'm gonna fill it first with grease. And then, oh yeah, I might do the I might do the T case, because I don't remember the last time I did it. But, and then I did write down here, I guess, the rear diff and T case take 80W. 90, GL5, so that's good. And then uh, we know that is happening. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I gotta take a leak. Oh yeah, here's a toilet. Perfect. Any tree's a toilet, really. I'm going to uh, change on the gear oil in the transfer case. So here's our drain, and there's the top ones, obviously the fill. So it's a little little cramped up in there. Just do the fill. So I'm gonna try and figure out that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. How many times do I gotta get up to grab a different tool? Nine. Oh, nine, 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 nine. Nine, 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 nine. Okay. Ah. I don't even know. Oh, that's probably way too big. Yep. <laughs> Dumbass. Dumbass. I guess if a guy knew what size it was, he wouldn't have to thumb it. Saskatchewan thumb it. Ooh. It's in Saskatchewan. But. Okay, we're on. Donkey Kong. <laughs> Where's your gloves? I don't need gloves. Why would you want to wear gloves? They just get holes in them anyway. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'll strip it probably. Oh yeah. Uh, so, if you live in America, you probably like, what's all the metric bullshit? Well, fortunately, <clears throat> you gotta have both around here in Kanakistan. So it kind of sucks because you gotta have metric and standard. And then you're always fighting underneath there. And you're trying to figure out, okay, well, what's what? 
right? It sucks. This sucks! I wonder what size that is. Maybe a guy should get on the old Google machine and figure out what size it is. Oh, I think that's cool. Or it's cool. 24 millimeter. 24 millimeter Peter. <laughs> but ew, there, see? I did this once before because I didn't tighten them stupid. Okay, good. So now, I guess I should get a drain pan under here. Let's see how dirty this is. I, I don't think it's going to be that dirty. I honestly think I did this once before. I end up in there. Come on now. Uh, oh, how far is it going to piss out? Uh, you know, it's got to go on top of there. Ooh. Oh, it's clean. But the... Okay, good. So I probably don't need to do... Did I put Lucas in there? Hope not. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, it does look like Lucas. That's actually really clean. And it looks like Lucas. So I think I'm going to just tap that off and then... Or while the regular stuff is supposed to go in there. You know what I'm saying? No. I'm saying. Okay. I'll get that back to where it should be. So I'm going to write that down because obviously I did this. I know I did it. I just don't remember when. Okay, it's just snug. You don't want to, next time around, you'll be like, what is going on? But that's, look at that fill. That fill is a pain. Huh. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, rear diff. I got to check the rear diff. I haven't done that. I know I haven't done that in probably about two or three years. So we're going to fill that. And we're going to use the fancy old air. Oh, if you've seen them vidges before, did a couple shorts on them. And not no Daisy Dukes either. Well, thanks. No, thanks. Just regular shorts. YouTube shorts, that is. Now I'm going to put this down. I'm going to be like, where did I put that? So I should probably leave it right where I need it. We're going to leave it right there. Okay, now we're going to grab my little... This 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 thing. Got my air hole in it. Mint. Uh, uh, now I bought gear oil today. It's made in 90. That's what it takes. Burp. Oh, burps are coming out of all kinds. Yep. So it's always a good idea to just leave everything out, so you have no room to work on your bench. So that way, uh, it makes everything more difficult. -er. Why wouldn't you do that? Oh, lift and peel. <laughs> this one actually worked. Oh, no, it didn't. This lift and peel shit doesn't work half the time. It's a 50-50 shot. Oh, let's use this one. Boop. It's okay if there's a little tranny fluid in there. Little old Bruce Jenner. Didn't really seem to come out there that quick. So I'm wondering if maybe did a guy not put enough in there or what? But this stuff. Oh, smell that. Yeah. Yeah. Smell a vision. You smell that. Okay. Oh. 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 Oh, I gotta do a blend door on that stupid thing too. It's making all kinds of So that's annoying. But I don't drive the car, so whatever. It's been like that for like a year. And the old lady, she's like, meh, I don't care, do it whenever. She's so good sometimes. And we're gonna put that in the hole. This is good. You guys gotta do this. If you ever need to change any kind of gear oil, diffs, any kind of stuff you gotta get from underneath. Wow, this is the cat's meow right here. Meow! Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we got a little drip. Oh, lots of drips. Damn it. Oh, now there's lube on it. I'd be able to fit it in. Okay, let's go a little more. Okay, there it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Okay, we still lined up. Oh, yeah, I think it's full. Oh, yeah, it's full. I That's brutal. I didn't want to go out. Oh, yeah. Holy! It's hard getting in there, okay? You're probably like, oh, I can do it better. Well, no, you can't! Because you're not here. So you can't! Well, that was dumb. I hope the rear diff won't be as bad. Oh, well, yeah, I gotta take that wheel off still. Forgot about that. She's getting a little chilly up here in the frost Pakistan. So it's time to switch over to the old winter tires. And of course the northern northern states. Uh, if you're watching in the northern states. The two of you that are here still. Or maybe three now. Because, you know, I got 464 subs. So that's sweet. But maybe you'll be like, oh yeah, I know that old. I know, I know how to drive in the snow. Oh, yeah, it's actually fun. Okay. Ah, now I gotta go have a bath and I'll be back. Oh. Ah. 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 My ROM is going to love that. I'm going to have to turn that off because I'll just scoop that up. Ah. Well, I think it was my fault, kind of. 
Well, whose else would it be? Anywho, any, 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 anyways. I should wear gloves. No, gloves, gloves are useless. Because you just tear them off again. Yeah. Oh, now it smells like orange diff fluid. Clean, orange clean diff fluid. Is that the word? Yeah. Okay, so now, so now, we're gonna get to the rear differ. I gotta still change that, or put that uh, hose clamp on there, which I haven't done. See, I usually like to do the easiest stuff first, and then complain about it later to do the hard stuff. Uh, yeah, that's the way I go. So back here's uh, Allen key. These are Allen's. A 10 mil maybe? Uh, let's see what we can figure out. Ooh, see I did do this once. A while ago, and I don't remember when, but I know it's longer than up front. So, <clears throat> this might be 10 as well. Same as the tranny, or, or is it smaller? Oh, no, it might be 8 mil. Mm, no, no, that's not working either. They're probably pretty dirty. Yeah, it's 10. Okay, well, do the fill plug first now. Come on. You gotta know this. Oh, yeah, she's... Oh. She's pretty, she's pretty hardy. Oh, there we go. Oh, just give her a little, oh, it's dirty. She's dirty, I wonder if that's leaking. Okay, so, we'll pull that out. Well, we know we got the felt loose. So let's worry about the bottom here. Drain this fool. Okay, oh, mm -hmm. Okay, where's her plug? So this will probably be pretty bad, I think. Uh, yeah, because this has probably been Four years, five years, maybe? I don't know the ow, actual mileage on oh, when I did this last. Oh, but obviously I was an idiot because it's too tight. Because it should be hand tight. Come on now. <sighs> oh, that hurt. There. Oh, I should have got some gloves bad at all. Ah, shit. I lost the pan thingy in there. Dishwasher. That's the one. Well, we already got it draining, so we're going to drain it and put new stuff in. It's actually not that bad. So that's good. Okay, well, we may as well undo this. Undo your filler. I'm really laughing. Oh, there goes the cross washer on that too. Damn it! That's what the other one did. I'm not going to grease my hands in here. Damn you! Ah, where's it? Oh, is it? Nope. Not much in here, I don't think. Holds in there. Oh, I thought that was it. That's a. That's not it. I may as well bathe in this already. So this Alan's in the back of that. So this will be the same, obviously, if you're watching still. Uh, Toyota Matrix. All wheel drive. And then I don't know if the some of the other Toyota 2.4s have that. Same rear diff. You'd think, right? <laughs> Oh. But it's good to just do it. Do it now and again. Fluid's cheaper than a new diff. And then you keep your seals, you know, keep your seals so they don't get non sealing, doing non sealing things. So, really, if you just do changes, you know, I actually, story time, story time. So, I was at a job at work and I was talking to a guy, and, you know, I don't know if I believed him or not, but it, it could be true. He had a dirt, or he had a Chevy Tahoe. I was like a 2003. This was a couple years ago now, and he drove a lot, and he would come back to Alberta. So that's a good jaunt, 13-hour drive. So how many ever kilometers, miles, and blah blah blah. So anyway, he uh, he had a uh, his Tahoe there. Uh, actually, he had two Chevs and 4L80, 4L60, whatever. Doesn't matter the transmission. He's like, you know, once a year, drain and fill. Once a year, no matter what key is, because obviously you're not going to put a whole... Like, once a year, I do the change on my diffs and his transmissions, transfer cases, no matter what. Always, once a year. So I was like, okay, yeah, that makes sense, right? And he was like, yeah, this thing's got, you know, 800 and some thousand K on it, and it's got the original tranny and transfer case and all that stuff. I don't know, 500,000 miles. Oh. oh, what was that? There's ducks. They're going south for the winter. Where's the Allen key? All right, oh, I'll probably go a little lower on the old oh, hoist there, but whatever. Oh, 
Okay, just snug. Don't be all stupid. And do not snug. Oh, no! Ah, damn it! I didn't put my sprayer on the end. Ah. I'm not gonna get up again. Oh! <clears throat> Guy tries to limit how many times he gets up. Oh, because he only got so many of them. <sighs> right? Right. Oh, may as well have a little beer break while we're here. <sighs> Man. Slow and steady wins the race. This one's a little easier to thread in <laughs> than the last one. I'll tell you what. And like I said before, ooh, that's my wrong size. Like I said before, that CV, we gotta change that CV. I don't know if I told you. That CV's dicked, you can tell. <clears throat> so, that's one thing that needs to be addressed. But we got about, like I said, 240,000 miles on this turd. And, uh, you know, it's been good to us. Oh, good to the old lady. Because we only paid 1100 bucks for it nine years ago this November. So really, think about it. I've changed normal things. Uh, I changed on it. Alternator, starter, intake gasket, valve cover. I told you already earlier, remember? Uh, I didn't, but now I do. Okay, cool. That's it for now. I guess uh, I still got to do hose clamp on that one front CV. This CV's gotta get changed. I'm not sure if I'm gonna order that and do a video on it or not, but if not, thanks for watching my shitty videos and uh, subscribe to my dumbass channel. <laughs> dumbass.